point of happy wife, happy wife. You hear growing up and it conditions you to think as long as a woman is happy, all will be well. And then you grow up in a generation where women strive to do exactly that, make sure that they are happy above all else, including above their partner. To live by happy wife, happy life is selfish. To live by happy spouse, happy house is love. And now it confuses me to think why a woman would put her happiness above anybody else. When she asks for a leader, a provider, a protector, all in one to be loyal and to serve according to her emotions and necessities, seems like a big responsibility to take on a wife. It almost sounds like a child to be taken care of, to be paid attention to, to be coddled and loved and never wanting to seem like she's giving too much because then who are you to tell her anything? To have enough sexual experience to please her in the bed but now you have to compete with all the men that have already left their mark in her and it's not just one and it's not just two and it's not just three. And it doesn't stop there, you have to look her type, act her type and most of the time she wants a little bit of hood and a little bit of holy. But if you act too holy, you're seen as weak and if you act too hood, it comes across as you're too aggressive. She wants a man that will spoil her and treat her like a princess. To be called queen but have no class when the words out her mouth are disrespectful as soon as it doesn't go her way but you must be patient and you must be graceful with her. And the irony of all that I say about this is that she wants to come as she is. It sounds like she's looking for the love of God in men.